Welcome to Tajikistan. I'm Bogdan Prokopovic and I'm Embassy Policy Specialist to this year in Dushanbe. I'm from University of Rhode Island. I'm studying new markets for renewable energy and the particular question I'm focusing on is how new markets come about. US Embassy in Dushanbe is interested in learning what is the potential for small-scale renewable energy systems in this country. Behind us is Nurek, the largest reservoir in Asia and the highest elevated in the world. It supplies two-thirds of uh, Tajikistan's total energy production. However, there is still need for alternatives. One of the alternatives would be solar power. Uh, however, solar power is not here and Tajikistan is an excellent place to study uh, new market creation. It has all necessary physical characteristics like more than 280 days uh, of sun in a year and also there are companies and international organization who would be able to bring in, uh, bring in the necessary uh, supplies for uh, solar panels and also uh, would be able to fund it. The question is why the market is not here yet. That's what I'm going to study for these four weeks and uh, I'll be back with more news. Hi, we are on the roof of the building of one of the buildings of the Technical University of Tajikistan and there is a, a project which is financed by one of the international organizations by uh, its a European Commission project and this project uh, is sponsoring a clean energy lab so what's done here as we see um, there are solar panels, there's water heater and there's a wind, uh, a small wind turbine uh, primarily for uh, educational purposes. Alfia Akharova is the director of the center and she's, uh, she organized funding, she organized uh, uh, the purchasing of all this equipment and uh, the center is working with uh, four universities. Uh, most of them are, uh, all of them are European and uh, uh, they started a new program where they educate uh, Masters, uh, masters in renewable energy, and this is a new for Tajikistan. It's a new also for educational system of Tajikistan. Okay, so let's take a look uh, at the equipment here. Here's the photovoltaic cells. Uh, everything has been brought by uh, from the European Union. Everything is produced by the European Union. Uh, not only the center produces uh, energy and also educates uh, specialists for the renewable energy field in Tajikistan. They're also creating a database for uh, renewable energy. We have, uh, we see they collect data on wind, on the temperature and also on the solar. Now we are entering the lab. These are the gadgets and all the equipment that students use for studying. Uh, the European Commission also su supplied all the computers and all the necessary so software. Here's the uh, computer that registers everything um, that's being collected uh, upstairs on the roof. And here's also the equipment uh, that where students learn to work with hydrogen cells. We are 70 miles northeast of Dushanbe in the town of Ragun where 3,600 uh, 3, megawatt hydroelectric plant, power plant is being constructed. To fight insufficient electricity supply, um, Tajik government is focusing on the large-scale um, hydroelectric uh, project. Uh, the Ragun project is supposed to resolve all the issues with electricity for Tajikistan. The cons construction of the project uh, began in 1976 then the disintegration of the Soviet Union happened, the civil war happened, and the, all the works were stopped. Currently, Tajikistan is having difficulty financing, uh, finding financing uh, for the construction of the dam, which promises to be the highest in the world. Cost estimates range between uh, two and six billion dollars. Even if the investors found, it will take years to finish the project and uh, just to fill up the reservoir with water it will take uh, for, by different estimates between 7 to 12 years. It is also necessary to evaluate the environmental impact on the ecosystem. 
and also there could be political complications since the construction of the dam will reduce the water flow in the rivers used for irrigation by Tajikistan's neighbor Uzbekistan. But Tajikistan's population needs a stable supply of electricity now and that's why small-scale renewable energy systems could be, um, could be a good short to medium term solution if a new market is provided with appropriate incentives. So this is the end of my stay in uh, Tajikistan. I've been here for four weeks and I've collected some data on the market for small-scale renewable energy systems in uh, Tajikistan. Uh, the end uh, product uh, of my research here will be a report for the US Embassy as well as hopefully a publication for me. Um, you know, the time, these four weeks have flown by very fast. I really uh, enjoyed it and I met a lot of uh, interesting and great people and I want to um, thank you for, uh, for the chance to participate in this project.